What is up, Humanoid Nation? So we have some good news today in the wrestling world. Bret Hart is cancer-free. That is amazing. He has one less thing to worry about, although he still has his strokes and other problems, but he at least he doesn't have cancer anymore. That's taken care of. So since uh, I don't drink, I'm going to give him a heads-up cheer, cheer, cheerio, cheerio, whatever, like, a drink to Bret Hart for getting cancer free. Let yeah, since I don't drink, let's water this down. Let's do this. A cheers for Bret Hart. You know what I'm talking about. This is all for my This is all for No, I'm not gonna waste water. I'm not gonna put water on my floor, no. This is all This is all for my dead homies, y'all. Oh shit! It's leaking. Didn't fit the cap that tight. So what else is going on? So the first inductee for the WWE Hall of Fame is the Godfather, which is kind of cool. His character gimmick was indeed awesome. Like he was a highlight of the party. Even though, yeah, I said before the WWE Hall of Fame is a joke. Ah, we all we're all gonna watch it anyway. It's WWE. We watch this shit anyway. Except for Total Divas. I refuse to watch that shit. I only watched two episodes, but that's it. I gave it a chance. No more. What's the shit about that tough enough girl being a, in one of the divas now? Oh yeah, why the fuck is ZZ hired in the performance center? Of all people, fucking ZZ. That lazy guy. Even he admitted that he can't go, but fuck. Why is that guy hired? I just don't understand this. So yeah, Godfather is in the Hall of Fame getting inducted. And they just announced... What's today? Yeah, today's Monday. I, I don't know. What, what's today? Uh, today's Tuesday. So yesterday, they announced the Fabulous Freebirds to be the next inductee. You heard that right. All of the Fabulous Freebirds. Michael Hayes, Jimmy Garvin, Terry Gordy, and Nature Boy Buddy Roberts. I think that's all four of them. I'm looking at the picture right now. and Yeah, Terry Bam Bam Gordy, Buddy Roberts, Jimmy Garvin... I was going to say Ronnie Garvin, but Ronnie Garvin was never in the flab Fabulous Freebirds. And Michael P.S. Hayes. Wonder what kind of pimp suit he'd be wearing, because he's wearing a fucking pimp suit every year at the Hall of Fame. So who are the other inductees? Because it's kind of been leaked out, but we're not sure if it is. Like, a pretty, I bet you pretty much Daniel Bryan's going to be added last minute because of his retirement. Hey, if Edge got in when he retired at last minute, why not Daniel Bryan? Also, when Eddie Guerrero died, he got inducted in at the last minute. Well, not really last... Well, yeah, he was, I think. I don't know. Okay. Also, Vader! Vader time! Vader needs work. Vader needs work. Yeah, Vader is a possibility in to the Hall of Fame. Regis Philbin, is, I hear, is going to be in the Hall of Fame. Why? I don't understand why. The only one that actually works is, like... Pete Rose, because, like, he was entertaining. Did the cold cane angle and all that shit. I don't know. Oh, Mike Tyson. No, not Mike Tyson. Fuck him. Even though he is entertaining, but he is a convicted rapist. Even though he hates being called that. It's what he is. He gets mad when people call him that. Hey, buddy, you were in jail for raping someone. You're a convicted rapist, so, yeah. I know you... I know he'll kick my ass when he hears this, because, like, but, uh, yeah, he definitely will kick my ass. I just, whatever, man, I just know I'm going to get an ass kicking if I ever meet the guy or something. Hey, you're that fucker that called me a convicted rapist, and then I'll be running the other way, limping away. Not running, limping away. Ah, uh, the funniest one ever was Mr. T. Just go back and watch it. It's hilarious. It so is. Ah, uh, I hear Jacqueline is going to be in it, which is awesome. She needs to be in the Hall of Fame of something like Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. I highly doubt she's in there, but it's all Texas based this year. It's all Texas fiend. Yeah, but that's my opinion. What's going down? Oh, by the way, Sonny made a sex video with Vivid, I think. If this is true, I'm definitely watching that shit. You know what? I don't care what Sonny looks like now. Sunny back in the day, goddamn, she was hot. But like seeing her in a porn video back then would have been great. But hey, 
She's a little bit chunky now, which I find sexy as fuck. I like the beard. I like the beard. I'm not lying. I like the chunky girls. The, se the, the little girls with extra meat on them? God damn, that's sexy as fuck. The Fappening Part 4 is what it'll be when I find that Sunny video. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Sunny in a porno. I just gotta see that shit. But anyways, what else is going on in wrestling news? Not very much I can think of. Oh, yeah, Titus O'Neil is missing WrestleMania. Poor guy. I wonder who's gonna win the Andre the Giant Battle Royal, which I pretty much... I'm pretty sure that's going to be on the kickoff pre-show. Come on, we all know it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on pre-show. Kickoff. The, uh, whatever they call it now. The kickoff show, the pre-show. Uh, back in the day, what the fuck did they call it? Oh, for fuck's sake. A dark match. And free-for-all. That's the thing, the free-for-all. Of course... All the social outcasts are going to be in it because they have nothing to do. And anybody else who has nothing else to do. Probably League of, Na the League of Nations, the ones that are not in the tag team match, will be in there. Poor Wade Barrett. Oh, speaking of Wade Barrett, that guy is leaving the WWE soon. Because he's not happy with his placement in the company. I don't blame the guy. I really don't blame the guy because he has been doing nothing ever since he left the Nexus. Sure, he did a bunch of stuff. Intercontinental Champion, wasn't that great. Was part of the core, that group was not that great. The only thing he did was, I got bad news for you. That was a good gimmick. It was entertaining. It did him good a little bit, but really not that much. I missed that shit. I got bad news for you. Oh yeah, he won King of the Ring, but King of the Ring means nothing nowadays. Because, yeah, it doesn't mean a de goddamn thing anymore. Since it's got, yeah, it's, they do it on a Monday Night Raw. They don't do it pay-per-view anymore. What's the point of doing King of the Ring? It used to be part of the Big Five. It used to mean something. Well, not when Mabel won it, or badass Billy Gunn. Who else won it that didn't deserve it? Oh, yeah. There was a King of the Ring before there was a King of the Ring, if you know what I mean. Like, Macho Man won it back in the 80s, a bunch of people, and then they officially did a tournament. Well, not officially, they actually started acknowledging there was a King of the Ring, but they didn't acknowledge the people that before they won the King of the Ring. Look it up, Google it. You know it's true. So yeah, Barrett wants to leave because, yeah, he doesn't like his placement in the company. Do you blame him? Do you blame him? New Day is getting funnier and funnier each day, but fuck. Xavier Woods, man. The guy's hilarious. Kofi and Big E, my god. Oh yeah, Ryberg is officially a heel because he beat the shit out of, I forget who he beat the shit out of in Raw. But man, god damn, he laid a whooping on that person. Who the fuck did he beat up? This is how much I care. I don't care. But anyways, what do you guys think of all this? stuff going down. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye!